Hello and welcome back. Today I'm just going to be breaking down everything that will be coming in the new project. I wanted to create a first person horror project with a heavy emphasis on procedural animation. A couple of important things we need to go over before moving on into designing. Firstly, this project is going to be a little bit different in style, much more explorative and experimental, less college lecture style. I'm going to be exploring subjects I've not really touched on previously, so expect some mishaps and some wrong things. May very well program something that the next week turns out just not to work and needs to be rebuilt. We'll be kind of exploring it as a group. Secondly, the project will be broken up a little bit differently than past projects. Instead of doing all codes so side by side, every week will be either focused on C Sharp or Godot Script, bouncing back and forth. Starting with C Sharp next week and moving over to Godot Script the second week. Anything that is not code will be very similar, so you can kind of pick the language you want to prefer and then go all the way through with just that language. I had wanted to do it the normal way, but it's proven a little bit difficult with larger projects and it's just somewhat cumbersome. That being said, I am going to try and return back to the style with future videos. In addition to that, I'm also going to try and do two videos in one week if I'm able to keep up with this style efficiently. So in the future, I may actually switch over to releasing a Godot script and a C Sharp script on the subject every week at the same time, or maybe a couple hours apart. But for now, this is just the way I'm going to go, so I don't overwhelm myself. Thirdly, all the project files will be separated into two GitHub projects. Each will be available in the description of the given video going forward, along with any pertinent links for the documentation for whatever the given subject of that video is. That being said, as this video is going to be a little bit more than previous ones with a bit more of a vertical slice mentality, I would like to request that no one asset flip this project. I'm not going to put a license on it or anything like that, just kind of asking. I want people to use it, copy the code, put it wherever you want, gut it and take it for whatever suits you, but grow it and expand it. Don't just post it on Steam. With that out of the way, I want to go over a little bit of the project. I wanted to make the project a bit more survival and investigation with horror -y vibes, and I didn't really know what that would look like, so I went ahead and drew up some concepts, which you can see on screen. And so leaning in with the investigation side of things, I decided with an old break action revolver as the primary weapon. I think the six bullet limit is kind of wonderful with like a long reload time, but really heavy hitting shots. Speaking of which, the target of this weapon, my intention with the design is to use physics heavily in the animation itself. To achieve this, I will have the hips and torso attached to via physics spring, and the hips will wiggle around as it moves. Also, in addition to this, the arms and legs will be all IK, letting it behave in a manner almost closer to a spider than a humanoid. Using raycast and other physics-based methods, the creature will find points in front of it to pull itself in the direction it needs to travel using a nav mesh. Now, besides the actual physics of the torso and the hips, there is also a proper sphere that will be a rolling ball. Essentially, that sphere is what all of the different mechanics will apply forces to, either the hands or the bullet from the revolver, and then the rib cage will be locked to the center of that sphere, so that that way, as it moves through the environment, it is pulling that sphere along. I also had a little idea in there for a stretch goal. If I could use the same springs that I use between the torso and the hips dynamically to attach multiple creatures together when they run into each other, this could create kind of a mass of creatures. And since all of the code for them should be independent of any sort of group logic, they should just behave as if they normally would, attempting to pull themselves forward and thus pull the mass forward. And then when you shoot it with the revolver, it'd like break apart and they'd fall all over the place. Don't know if I'll actually get to this, but if I do, it'd be very cool. So that's pretty much it. Next week, I'll be moving on into a proper design phase, getting a first-person controller up and running with some basic hands and maybe a revolver. I'll go ahead and get that in. And of course, the GitHub project and all that stuff. But yeah, I'm excited to learn all of it with all of you. As always, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll see you all back here next week for our first video in the new series.